praise the Lord, everybody. We're so glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Let's just praise Amen. the Lord.
Amen. And shout in the victory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Shout after the victory. <laughs> but just shout. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Shout to the Lord. There you go. Sister Doris, you feel good tonight? Amen. Testify. Amen. 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 Uh, Tuesday, um, 
I want to praise the Lord for keeping his hand on my daughter. She was, she had took off to work and to get some tires on her car because me and Johnny had got on to her Saturday about it. And I, we told her, you know, we're carrying that baby around. She didn't need bad tires. Yeah. Well, she got up Sunday morning and her tire was flat. Oh my. So I said, that's another sign. The Lord's telling you, you don't need to be on the road. Well, she had called Monday and got her an appointment in Camden. Well, she had went to get her some breakfast and she pulled out a McDonald's and a guy sideswiped her. Oh my. Oh, and just thank the good Lord, the baby was not with her because all the damage was done on his side of the vehicle. Oh, thank you. Oh. It messed up her axle on her car. And like I said, all the damage was done on her side. She was not hurt. The guy was not hurt. The hitter, he's from Parsons too. He was headed yeah. to Paris and he did not see her when he pulled out. But I want to give all the praise to God for Amen. taking care of her. God, God, he's something else. I thought I was just thinking about your daughter and that little boy just stopped two minutes ago while I was standing over there. And I had just thought about them. I thought, I, we had not seen them in a little while. It's more like to talk to this gentleman, you know, see, make sure they're doing all right because I can get to see them. Now I know, praise God. God's taking care of them. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? But Darren, I want to praise the Lord tonight for strength. Oh, Hallelujah. I was able, you know, I didn't feel too good a few weeks ago, but God has strengthened me, and I appreciate it. And I just want to thank Him for it. I mean, this this past week I was up and down the ladder, taking off curtains and washing them and putting them back up, and my closet fell, and I took my little drill and I put it back up and <laughs> moved all my clothes and put them in, and so God just gave me strength to do all that. Right, and so I'm thankful for that because. I hadn't been able to do that even before some of this others before I got feeling bad. I just did not have strength strength like I needed and right. like I wanted. So I'm thankful for God giving me that. Amen. Amen. Pulled that one on me at lunch. She said, She said, My closet fell. I said, Your closet fell? What in the world are you talking about? <laughs> And then she said, oh, it was my, my shelf and my rods and all that fell down. You know what, Brother Steve, that preach right there. I'm telling you. You man. get too much in your closet, it'll fall down, so you have to redo it. <laughs> you have to clean it out. Take out the says, You know what I'm saying? It's time to clean out the closet. It's got to get in the closet. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Bob Joe, would you take up the offer for us tonight? We need to remember your mama tonight, don't we? Yeah, pray. We need to pray for her, and we need to pray for uh, Amy and April and Michael and all of them. Amy, we're going to call Jamie on the head and he'll come back to church. He is going through, so I'm really, really. Uh, some stuff in his head now. I mean, I don't understand it. He's not want to come to church at all. So, I mean, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say to him. Yeah. So, he's coming to keep praying. Right. And he's praying. Yeah. 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 That's it. Right. Brother Bob, you hit it right on the head. Just yeah. yeah. Man, it is. Uh, we pray for them. Sister Martha. Yeah. 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 Now I've got a bad right foot and my knee's acting up and I'm about to freeze tonight because I went to sleep this thing when I woke up I was about froze and I ain't got warmed up yet. So if you could just remember to remember me when you're doing your prayers, I need a healing from this, whatever it is, arthritis, gout, whatever attacks me, I need a healing of that. Amen. 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 Anybody else? Sister Russian, and we need to remember Sister Wanda Haynes, too. Right. Uh, and yeah. Sister Vicki yeah. Graves. Uh, brother and Sister Batson are supposed to be out a little bit better day to day. Keep them in your purse. Huh? Keep them in your purse. Yeah, we're still, still praying for all the Batson family. And uh, we need to remember Brother Freeman. Yeah. 
Too many sick. Sister Cindy. Remember the Hill family. Um, they lost their mother this week, um, and they're, I was pretty close with their with her two sons. Yeah. Uh, just remember that family because Amber said that um, when they had the funeral Friday that Lily was really, her husband was really taking it hard. So just remember that family and give this family strength and, and peace yeah. through this time. Amen. 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 Sure will. Any others? Victoria. Yeah. You know, I think we need to, to remember Brother Ray in our prayers. You know, he's still suffering over the loss of his oh, yeah. it, It's really just, just, he's not doing well with that loss. He knows she's better off, but he, he just gets all tore up about talking about her. He, he needs he needs comfort there. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's stand together. Let's, let's take these things to the Lord tonight. Any unspoken requests that we have? Let's just take all we need. Now, Lord, we love you tonight. We thank you, Lord, for your grace, your mercy, and your love. We ask you, Lord, to touch each and every one that's been mentioned in this house, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you will just guide, direct, move, do whatever it is, Lord, that you need to do in every situation. We put it in your hands, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we loose you in every situation, in every life. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you now to receive our tithing and our offering. Lord, we ask you to just bless it, Lord, you for what you'd have to be used for. Lord, we love you and we pray you in all things. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>
You got a problem tonight? I don't, but well, I can find one. Why don't you find one? My sister Sherry is saying one. <laughs> God bless you. Let's worship with Sister Sherry. Bless you, Lord. I love you. I love the Lord. And I love this song here. I was kind of playing it earlier this, well, this morning. Save my mama, 
my brothers and sisters, that is the most wonderful thing ever. Amen. But I want us to remember and focus on the fact that Jesus is coming soon. Amen. We don't have much longer in this earth, and we may not have much longer in this earth and in this country to have freedom to gather together and praise the Lord. That's right. Because Jesus is coming back soon. And the more you see the church persecuted, look up, because he's coming. And it's coming closer. So keep your eye on that prize. I have no idea. Jesus is coming soon. I don't know what Jesus Troublesome times are near. Fear hearts with fear. Freedom we all hold dear. Now is our stay. Humble your hearts to God. Stay
where she's actually come up here now, she, she's not so reluctant anymore. Well, let me tell this one little story. One, one night we were coming to church. This was three years ago, probably. This is how young. Or four. Or four. That my little girl was. And we was, we was riding in the back seat. She said, Nanny, how come you don't sing? Don't you know that your son wants you to sing? Why don't you sing? I said, Nanny can't sing. <laughs> yes, you can, Nanny. And you ought to be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Out of the mouth of baby. Yeah, well, if my son was shamed because I wouldn't sing my son. <laughs> amen, amen. God bless you. Thank y'all for playing and singing tonight. Hallelujah. 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 I wanted to let everybody kind of know that we've made a little bit of a change on the way that we're doing the uh, online programs. Uh, me and Sister Lisa has talked about it because we were having a problem. Some people, when they were trying to load up the YouTube videos, they were sitting there and just running. So they was having a problem with it. And she, she told me that the main reason for that was probably the length of it. So what we've done is she split them into two settings. So it's worship service and then the preaching. Right. So that kind of cuts it in half, you know. Yeah. And uh, so that should make it to where it's easier to load and easier to be able to view right. without it just sitting there continually trying to load and, and working itself to death trying to get it. And most of that is is the person's internet connection. There's nothing we can do to fix that. Yeah. But making the file smaller gives everybody a better chance of being yeah. if they're just watching it on their phone. Right. Yeah, it's a lot easier that way all the time. Yeah. Uh, uh, used to, they, when you would watch an hour-long program, like, you know, if I'd be watching, say, Brother Jeff Arnold preaching for an hour, back years ago, they'd have to bust that into, like, four or five segments in that yeah. one hour. So they'd have 10 or 15, 20 minutes from one, and part two, and part three, and part four. Yeah. <laughs> but they did that so that the slower internet connections could do it. So, but that's what we've done. So don't think that we've lost our mind and and we lost, you know, we split it up, but we done that on purpose. Yeah. So, and hoping that maybe it would make it easier right. for people to view. And to be really honest, some people won't watch the singing, but they'll come in and watch the preaching. Right. And if they have to work for 30 minutes to try to get to the preaching before they ever watch it, they may decide not to do any worth it, you know. So right. we want them to be able to do whatever they need to do. 